So, um, you probably wonder why I'm always in my car or, or some kind of vehicle. That's because I'm always at work. Um, I work a lot. And then when I'm not at work, a lot of times I am doing things with the family or doing things around the house. And really the only time, um, that I'm able to make these videos is, you know, when I have free second, which is usually when I'm in the car, uh, when I'm getting ready to go somewhere, getting ready to go into work, you know, or when I'm at work and I have to take my 30 minute break. Um, anyway, we went today to see Coco. I made a video earlier about how we got the tickets for Coco. It's a pretty cool video. You should go watch that. Um, uh, talking about paying it forward and, and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we saw Coco today, and I know it has really high reviews. It's, uh, like a 97 or something on Rotten Tomatoes, um, and I was, I don't know, I was skeptical, because sometimes they get it wrong, or sometimes, like, movies don't just vibe with me, you know, it's, um, I don't always see it the way critics do, but... I'm happy to say that Coco really is as good as they're making it out to be. I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. I mean, I would rate it, um, just as a movie in general, not as an animated movie, just as a movie in general, I'd put it up there at a nine. It's just that good of a story. Um, the storytelling in it was, was done really well. Um, it, it has a lot of Mexican culture, um, which we haven't seen a lot of in, in films. Um, it's, just, it's just really cool. Uh, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of comedy. Um, there's, yeah, there's just really significant moments in this movie that, that really uh, are impactful and sweet and endearing. Um, and, yeah, it just gets you, man. Tugs you by the heartstrings. It's, it's really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'll, I'll give you a synopsis, kind of. I don't want to ruin it, though, for anyone who hasn't seen it, because there are some, like, twists and stuff and some things that you find out later in the movie, and I don't want to give any of that away. Um, that's one of the reasons I liked the movie so much, was because there were some twists and turns that you didn't expect, and it was really cool. Um, anyway, it's about uh, this little boy, Miguel, and he aspires to be a musician, but his family is <clears throat> very against music, okay? They hate they hate anything to do with music, and it's all because his great-great-grandfather um, walked out on his family and pursued a career in music and, and, and left his family to fend for themselves. So the whole family has, like, sworn off music, and um, especially his uh, grandmother, who is the granddaughter of the man who walked out of his family. Um, so it's, it's a story about this little boy who, who wants, he, he loves music. He loves to play music. Um, and that's another part of the, uh, the, the Mexican culture. It, it, it talks about, um, mariachi music, um, throughout this movie it has a lot of, um, a lot of mariachi guitar, a lot of, um, Spanish guitar. Um, it's, it's really good. Um, so this little boy, he's struggling with that, right? His family doesn't want him to be a musician, but that's all he wants in the world. Um, and the movie takes place during um, the celebration of the Day of the Dead, which is where uh, families will put out photos of their loved ones who have passed to help them um, pass over to the other side. Um, it's, it's really cool because you learn some things that you wouldn't expect or maybe didn't know about so I thought that was really cool and so it, it goes about where he has to he, he somehow ends up in the land of the dead with the people who have already passed and he's trying to find his grandfather because he needs someone's blessing to go back to go back to the, the land of the living and the rest of his family that are there are very against music and they are saying that he can go back as long as 
he never pursues music. And so he's on a search for his grandfather, who he knows um, would give him the blessing that he wants and not put that stipulation on him. Um, that will, you know, that he would be supportive of him pursuing music. So anyway, I don't want to give you much more because, like I said, I don't want to give anything away. But it's a really endearing story. It's it's really good. It actually had me like laughing at, at points. I got a little teary-eyed at points. I'm not afraid to admit, like teared up a little bit um, a couple times during the movie. So um, really good film. Really good film. I'd highly recommend it um, for kids, for adults, for anybody. I think it's just a really good film. Um, I haven't had, I've seen twists in a animated family movie like that probably since like Fiona and Shrek, <laughs> um, finding out that Fiona was, was an ogre. Um, yeah. So it was really cool. It actually caught me by surprise. And, you know, being an adult there, like, you'd think that sure it'll catch kids by surprise, but even caught me off guard. So it, it was really cool. And, and that part of the story, when, when the twist hits, it actually made me a little teary eyed. It, it's really good. It's a really good movie. So, uh, check that out. Take your kids to see it. Um, buy the DVD. It'll be worth it. It'd be worth it to have. Um, I put it up there, like I said, um, not just as an animated film, but just as a film in general, I'd, I'd probably rate it a nine, a solid nine. And, um, just to give you some reference, like we saw, um, what is it? What do we see? Uh, the movie about the bull. What? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of the name of it right now. Okay. The movie uh, about the bull that's also out right now. Ferdinand. We saw Ferdinand a few days ago and I would rate that even as a cartoon movie, probably at like a seven. So this one as a cartoon movie is up there nine and a half, ten, 10, um, as, as an animated film, um, as a movie in general, solid nine. So definitely, uh, have, has my recommendation. So anyway, I wanted to do that. Um, I know I've been promising some other reviews, but, um, since that one was really fresh in my mind, we saw it today and I thought it was such a good film. I wanted to, to get this video out there. So, um, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought. Let, let me know, uh, in the comments. Did you think it was good? Did your kids like it? Um, share this video, like it. If you enjoyed my little review and, um, We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.